It's the Samsung Intrepid. So when you're uh, sitting there looking kind of suave and bored, wondering, where am I? Am I in Tokyo? Am I in London? Am I in New York? You can pull out your Intrepid, and it'll be like, oh, here you are, and it'll entertain you so you don't have to be bored. What's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and this is uh, the perfect travel companion, as Sprint and Samsung would have you believe. It's the new Windows Mobile 6.5 touchscreen full QWERTY board smartphone from Samsung for Sprint just launched $149.99 on contract after rebate with a two-year contract that's the launch price $449.99 is the off-contract price this one just out Winmo 6.5 professional uh, in the box here's the phone it's kind of uh, you know reminiscent of like the uh, was it the Jack and the Epic's recent uh, Samsung phones with the kind of squarish look and um, oh, power buttons on no oh, it's a headphone jack maybe there's no power in it oh there it is on the side the kind of squarish look and the squarish keys with kind of angled surface we'll get back to that in a second also in the box you get the charger uh, looks like it's micro USB based which is nice and you get the headset écouté so if you're gonna be a globe trotter you have to know écouté actually I guess think that's écouteur Écouté is to listen. Écouteur is a headset. Uh, it's got a... I'm going to keep tossing it down and picking it back up. 3.5mm headphone jack. It's got a little inline remote mic as well. Uh, USB data cable, so you can cable your data. And then you've got your manuals, your basics guide. And then uh, I think maybe with the basics guide, maybe you have an advanced guide also, or an intermediates guide. I don't know. Winmo 6.5, full QWERTY. Uh, 3 megapixel camera on the back with a little self-portrait mirror. Can you see yourself? No, you can't because it's a camera. A uh, little speaker grill on the top. You've got a 35 millimeter headphone jack, which is always nice to see because if you're sitting there looking suave, you're going to want to listen to music. Here's the Winmo 6.5 home screen. Uh, on the other side, there's the power key that I eventually found. There is your camera button. There is your handwriting button. Is this where the... Uh, the stylus is somehow docked. What's going on here? It is. The stylus. Oh, that's interesting. The stylus is docked this way. Telescoping stylus. And uh, that's a little different. I'm sure somebody's done that before, but I've never seen it before. Eh, interesting. And then the other side, you've got a rocker switch. You've got your USB port. Nothing on the bottom. Well, no, on the bottom, you've got your little uh, yeah, your microphone port there and then on the top the lanyard hole uh, phone dog Aaron and I were just IMing about lanyard holes but I'll uh, there's nothing more I really need to say about that so here's Winmo 6.5 and it's a resistive touchscreen but you can kind of flick through it and get to all your different stuff and whatever and uh, let's um, let's text let's try out the keyboard you've got a d-pad got two soft keys, the start button, the OK button, call and cancel buttons, four row keyboard, spacebar, double width, kind of like a uh, grippy texture on here, and the keys are kind of angled and fanned out from the center, which I always kind of like to see. And let's write a text message that says, the quick brown dog won a phone playing the one pod bandit so not bad some of the keys felt a little bit uh, almost like a double click but I think that was just my finger kind of rolling from one key sort of onto the other because they're angled not only do they fan out to the sides as you can see but they also kind of angle uh, from the top down to the bottom I think it's probably a pretty good system I've used phones like this before and I've come to like them it just takes a little getting used to I was just playing around with the Pantech Reveal, which has very flat keys, so my thumbs get confused. I'm an old guy, my thumbs get confused, what can I say? Um, but there you go, kind of your basic stuff, and Winmo 6.5, you know, the interface a little bit revamped from the original Winmo. Uh, you've got a speaker, looks like a speakerphone button on the front, or maybe it's a mute, no, there's your mute, so there's your speakerphone, I would assume. Voice control, messaging shortcut, Wi-Fi on, off. You see, you've got 3G, you've got Wi-Fi, uh, you've got... a uh, it's worldwide capable, so I'm assuming we've got a SIM card slot in here. Yes, you do, so you can activate that with Sprint's roaming partner to use it globally. So CDMA with uh, EBDU 3G in the U.S., and then GSM with uh, you know the HSPA 3G 
if you're using it abroad globally. Also, you've got Sprint TV, you've got GPS navigation, you've got Bluetooth. There's a memory card slot in here somewhere. Man, I'm going to have to open the backup again because I bet you it's under here. Yeah, there it is. There's your micro SD card slot. No uh, card with the phone. Also, your battery uh, just says 3.7 volt lithium ion. Fourteen hundred eighty milliamp hours. So that should be good for a little bit of juice. Uh, the phone feels pretty good. It's a little bit wide, but you know I think for a smartphone that's fine. It's thin enough. Should be you know easily pocketable. And uh, I think Samsung generally makes pretty solid Windows Mobile smartphones. You know the keyboard is usually good. The screen you know it's resistive, but it feels pretty good. I was able to flip through it with my fingers. And then obviously it's meant for the stylus, which comes with the phone. And hey, lots of chrome trim. Swab guys like that, right? Oh yeah, dude. I love the chrome trim. So there you go. It's the Samsung Intrepid. Again, uh, just out $149.99 on contract after rebate. $449.99 is the launch price. Uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 Professional, Global Roaming, Touchscreen, 3G, Wi-Fi, Sprint TV, QWERTY board, 3.2 megapixel camera, and it's black and chrome. Just like the night! with much, much more on the Intrepid, all the new Sprint phones, all the new Samsung phones, and there are plenty of them, believe me. Uh, head on over to PhoneDog.com. We've got you covered. And you can win free phones, too. Play the One Pod Bandit. In the meantime, my name is Noah. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, you know, you can watch the other videos. You can, you can just uh, do something nice for somebody in the name of PhoneDog. You can do that, too. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.